Okay, so some of you may have already heard about no code, these awesome drag and drop tools that allow you to build software, apps, websites, and all sorts of other things without writing a single line of code and without learning any programming language. However, I see so many entrepreneurs making the same mistake when it comes to building with no code. And that's why in this video, we're gonna be talking about the five mistakes when building with no code and how to avoid them. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Startup Studio. My name's Christian and I'm the co-founder of We Are No Code. We teach non-technical entrepreneurs how to launch their business with no code. And if this is your first time checking out the channel, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our tips and tricks, but mostly so I don't cry myself to bed at night. Mistake number one, shiny object syndrome. You see, when most people discover no code, they get so excited about the fact that they can actually build out websites and apps without having to write a single line of code. And so they go into Google and they pretty much type in no code and they end up being blasted by all these advertisings and thousands of no code tools to choose from. And the more they dig into it, the more they fall in this deep rabbit hole, start playing around with all these different tools. And the problem with that is the most of the time they end up learning a little bit of several different tools and are constantly distracted by any new exciting tool that comes out. Now that's totally normal. And if that's you, don't get frustrated, just be aware of it. And yes, there are endless possibilities in terms of what you can actually build. But the real question is what should you build? So the best way to get over shiny object syndrome is to have an end goal in mind. Usually you're either trying to build a business, you're trying to generate additional income, you're trying to learn a high value skill. So oftentimes just defining what your goal is, is gonna allow you to figure out which tool is best for that specific goal, and then just focus in on one or two tools to begin with. And of course it's super exciting when you find out you can build artificial intelligence or machine learning with no code, but don't get carried away with the hype train and try to clearly figure out what your goal is. Mistake number two, learning the most complicated no-code tools first. Now this pretty much comes down to the expression, don't learn how to run before you learn how to walk. But oftentimes people come in and they wanna have every feature in the world. And so they end up finding the tool that allows them to build that. And yes, when you can program pretty much 80% of what a coder could leveraging a no-code tool, it's gonna to be a little bit more complex to learn. So learning curves of these no-code tools can vary anywhere between a couple of hours all the way to six months to a year. And if you choose the most complex tool to build with first, you're gonna find yourself a little bit overwhelmed and most people end up giving up because they just feel frustrated. Similarly to so many people who go into coding boot camps, realize, oh my God, I just learned some HTML or some JavaScript and I can't really do much with it and it took me six months to just learn the basics. And so understand that as humans, what's gonna keep you going is your own progress. So before you crush your own self-esteem, make sure to start off with tools that are more accessible and then move into more complex tools, which will be a lot easier once you've learned the basics. Now this mistake actually ties perfectly into number three, building too many features. Now, regardless of whether you're testing a new business idea with no code or you're building software for your company, building too many features is often a huge mistake. And that's because when you use software, you wanna use the iteration method, which means that you constantly need to get feedback from the users or from the customers to be able to adapt that product in the direction where people are gonna use it more and where people are likely to pay for it as well. And so if you spend so much money and time building all the features that you want, it's very likely that a lot of those features will never get used or that you're completely missing the value that the customer is looking to pay for. Not to mention that when you have more features, whether you build something with code or without code, it's more difficult to scale to more people, meaning that as more people use it, there's going to be performance issues. So I'd highly recommend to build only a couple of essential features to begin with, put it in the hands of customers, start getting feedback and build with those customers. If not, you're building nothing for no one. And if you just spent a bunch of time and or money, there's a high likelihood that you're gonna wanna give up once you run into that roadblock. So try to keep it simple at first and then build the features that are highly requested. And if you're a non-technical entrepreneur who's looking at no-code tools to launch your new business, then I'd highly recommend for you to start by checking out our free course that's below in the comment section. That's gonna bring you through step-by-step -step to building your business. Okay, now no-code mistake number four, trying to figure it out on your own. Now, of course, there are plenty of resources out there for you to learn how to code or how to build things with no code. The problem is that oftentimes all those resources are being puzzled together from different parts of the internet and it's very difficult to understand the clear direction to be able to build something from scratch. And there's a reason why it's been centuries that people have teachers. It's because books are not enough. 
And so why waste so much time trying to figure it out on your own if there are more experienced people who can help you get there quicker? Now, the fifth mistake is to believe the myths around no code that are going around in the market today. No code is not scalable. No code is not cyber secure. No code is not taken seriously by investors. Can you really build powerful things like two-sided marketplaces, messaging apps, or social networks? Because the name of these tools are no code tools, there's a lot of pushback from developers and other people who don't believe that this is a huge movement. But let me assure you that no code tools have raised hundreds of millions of dollars in funding from investors. A no code startup called Comet just raised $12.5 million in funding. We've trained founders who've gone from zero to $30,000 in monthly recurring revenue without writing a single line of code. And some of the top investors like Jason Calcanis are huge proponents of no code tools. So like in any new exciting technologies, there's always gonna be naysayers. Don't let yourself get convinced by those people. And you could literally choose to find reasons why not to leverage these no code tools. But the truth is that they are a huge opportunity and a massive competitive intelligence. Hope that brought you a lot of value. Sign up to the channel, check out these additional videos and let's go.